everyone, welcome to Columbus State. My name is Megan and I am getting my Associates of Science. I will actually be graduating in a couple of days. Um, we are practicing social distancing here. I have my masks. Um, I'm gonna show you around Columbus State. So let's head into Davidson really quick. Okay everybody, we are in Davidson Hall right now. This is the STEM building. So science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But for the most part, you're gonna have a lot of your math classes in here. On the top floor, we do have math tutoring. So if you need any help with math or you really wanna ace that exam, feel free to go up there and get some tutoring in math. We do have Sips Cafe. It'll be up and running when we come back on campus. Unfortunately, it is closed right now. Okay, everybody, we are in Madison Hall. We are on the upper level. This is Student Central right here. So this is basically the Google of the campus. So if you have any questions at all, you can come to them first and they will refer you out to any other resources that would accommodate you. We also have the assisted lab over here. So basically we have student employees that work in there and they are walking around um, seeing if whatever you need. So you could scan any documents into the campus. Um, if you need to do your FAFSA, if you have any questions about your FAFSA, or if you just need to simply register for a class, the student employees in there will be able to help you out. Um, but specifically, Student Central works with financial aid, so if you have any financial aid questions at all, um, this would definitely be your place. Okay, we are now outside of Aquinas Hall, so this is basically your first semester building. So if you're coming into your first semester, you are most definitely gonna have to be in this building. On the lower level, we have the testing center. So if you are on campus and you know you're gonna miss your final exam, you're going on vacation, whatever it may be, and you know you're gonna miss that exam, you can let your professor know and you will probably have to make up your exam in the testing center. We also do have the placement tests. So that's why I say most um, first semester students you're gonna be in this building. So we also have the case advising, so that is your first semester advising. We also have the transfer center, so if you're transferring out after your two years here, that will be a really good resource for you as well. So Aquinas Hall is actually, um, it was a all boys Catholic school when it was donated to us. Um, so if you can see the cross up at the top, um, you can tell that it was a Catholic school. Um, it is said to be haunted. I have never heard anything, but I do hear that people hear stuff on the second floor. So we are now in Eibling Hall. We welcome any differently abled students here on campus. So right here we have the disability services. So if you have any type of disability at all, be sure to come to disability services and they will make accommodations for you. So we are still in Eibling Hall. We are on the top floor. As you guys can see, we have a whole bunch of art in this, in this room. Um, so this is the art gallery. So a lot of our current art students put their art um, in this gallery on the fourth floor. We also have art advising um, right here on the fourth floor as well. And then we do have engineering labs in this building as well. So we are now outside of Franklin Hall. So on the first floor, we have the president's office. He does have an open door policy. So if you ever wanted to just go in and have a conversation with him, he is totally about that. Um, on the top floor, we also have some really cool student organizations. And then we also have just some other general ed classes in here. I had a history class in here and then an English class. Okay, so we are now in the library. So right behind me is the writing center. So if you struggle coming up with a thesis statement or concluding your essay, or you need help writing your lab report, whatever it may be, the writing center will definitely be able to help you out and it is completely free for students. Um, we also do have um, quick printing, so if you don't have access to a printer at home um, and you need to quickly print out your essay or your paper, you can come to the library and quickly do that. It is completely free for black and white printing. Um, on the second floor, we do have a pretty large computer lab, so if you don't have access to a computer at home, you can go to the computer lab and use those computers up there. Um, and then on the third floor, we do have designated silence rooms, um, and then if you need to check out any books or textbooks, you can do that on the third floor. Okay, so we are now in Delaware Hall. So Delaware Hall houses our gymnasium. So we do have sports here on campus that are competitive. So we do have men's basketball, girls basketball, volleyball, golf, and cross country. Um, so I am a part of the volleyball team. 
So we actually did place second in the nation this year. And then the men's and the women's basketball team um, went to nationals as well. So Delaware Hall also houses the automotive program, the business programs, and sports and exercise programs. Um, also on the lower floor, we do have a fitness center, so it is completely free for students. So you do need to have your Kruger ID card to get in there though. And then we also have a locker room down there as well, if you would like to utilize that. Okay, so we are still in Delaware Hall. Behind me, we have the police department. We do have our own police department here on campus. So if you were to call 911 on campus, it would send you directly to our officers. Um, we also have something called the Rave app. So it's like our virtual escort system. So Columbus State was actually ranked in the top 25 safest colleges in the nation. And that includes being virtual and in-person help. So we are now in Union Cafe in Union Hall. So we do have a cafeteria here on campus and we have a bunch of different foods for everybody. Um, we have like sushi, my favorite. We have Asian and Japanese food. We have American food like chicken fingers, burgers and stuff like that. Um, we also have a Starbucks. Unfortunately, they do not take gift cards. Um, we also have Union Cafe gift cards. So here at Columbus State, we do not have meal plans like other universities, but we do offer um, the Union Cafe gift cards to use in the cafeteria. So we are now in Union Hall. So this is pretty much the people building. So if you are in majors like education, nursing, ASL, or massage therapy, this will definitely be your building. Um, the massage therapy actually does give $10 massages. So definitely something to take advantage of. As well as housing those majors, we also have a lot of science classes in here as well, like anatomy classes. So we actually do have three human cadavers. So we do have two female and one male. Okay, so now we are in the TL, so the Center for Technology and Learning. So basically this is the ology building, so any biology classes, any psychology, physiology, any of those types of classes are going to be in here. Um, there's also some chemistry labs and some physics labs as well in this building. Um, so on the lower floor, on the first floor, we do have the largest computer lab on campus, and it does offer color printing. Um, color printing is 25 cents per page, but like I said before, black and white printing is completely free. Um, down on the first floor as well, we do have the Cyber Cafe. So if you have any difficulties with your technology, um, you can go down there to the cafe and they will be able to help you out. As a Columbus State student, you do get all of the Microsoft stuff for free. So I struggled downloading that onto my Mac and they were able to help me out and download that onto my Mac. So we also have the, um, an aquarium on the third floor right here. So this is um, a freshwater aquarium. Welcome to the bookstore. You can get all of your back to school needs here. So we do have our textbooks up on the top floor. So if you need to get any textbooks, you can get that up there. We also have a bunch of school supplies like notebooks, um, pencils, that kind of stuff. We have that on the top floor as well. And then down here, we have all of your cougar wear. So if you want to rep some cougar gear, make sure to come to the bookstore. Um, we do have some Union Cafe gift cards. So for the cafeteria, if you want to get that here. And then we also have Coda bus passes. So if you do ride the Coda bus, um, you can get some passes here as well. So we are now in Mitchell Hall. This is our brand new and beautiful building. So over here, we have the Blend Cafe and Bakery and then the Degrees Restaurant. Both are partially ran by students, so it's really nice because those students can get some hands-on experience while in college. So here at Mitchell Hall, we do have a program called The Mix. So we do offer recreational cooking classes for students and the community. So right now we are right in front of the WD, which is the Center for Workforce Development. Um, this is an amazing resource for students and the community. And then right down the road, we have the Mid-Ohio Market, which is another amazing resource um, for students and the community who are trying to fight food insecurities. Welcome to Nestor Hall. Right now we are in one of the lounges. So this lounge has a bunch of different student resources. So student engagement, student employment, and career services to help prepare you for the life ahead. So this lounge particularly has whiteboards and tables so you and a bunch of friends can get together and study or do homework. 
So this is our last stop on the Columbus campus tour. We are in the admissions office, so we hope to see you soon. Don't forget that we have the Delaware campus and then six other regional learning centers. Thanks for coming along and stay safe out there.